The rebuilding of the university, creating what we now know as Old College, started in 1789, the year of the French Revolution, and it finished in about 1830. The final act, completing the exterior as we see today, was the addition of the dome for the tercentenary of the university in the 1880s. Old College is very much a building of two halves, and it was designed to be such. It has the grand side for display with the opulent upper library hall, the very grand staircase up to it, and the other half is the functioning teaching part, which is always built to be utilitarian. We know that over the years, a, a somewhat higgledy pickledy group of buildings developed, creating what we can only see as a rather complicated building today and not necessarily a most successful one in terms of educational function. Features familiar to generations of law students in the building are, of course, the rather wonderful cantilevered staircases, one designed by Robert Adam and a matching one by William Playfair and one can notice that there has been a developing an ever greater meniscus curve on the stairs as people go up and down them. We are, of course, just custodians of this building. We are passing through its history. So what's really important is we get this refurbishment right. And I think the architects, we have the architects who are going to do that. Well, it's an extraordinary privilege to be working on a, a building like this and to be imbuing that building with a, a future which is relevant um, to future generations. And so this is a very interesting coming together of our strengths, I think, in education and in the conservation of historic buildings. At the start of the refurbishment project, I said to the architects that my vision for the school as head of school at that point was that the refurbishment should make the building both awe-inspiring but also inclusive and welcoming. Our challenge is to unpick two centuries of piecemeal change and create a series of teaching spaces, seminar spaces, academic offices, a new library, and importantly, a social hub in the centre of the school to create ideal accommodation for the School of Law in the 21st century. One of the most important things for me is that students will be at the heart of the building. The social space will be at the hub of this building, and that for me is really, really important. And the other thing is that our law library is also going to be linked to the school and in the school. The law library is the intellectual lifeblood of the school, and it's where staff and students develop ideas, a very exciting space, and that also is going to be reimagined in a wonderful way. I love the idea that the octagonal lecture theatre is being preserved, but then that it's being mirrored in the new library. Until you actually look at what's being planned, you don't realise how maybe the shortcomings of what's here and we all look nostalgically on the law library as that was you know where we spent a lot of time but actually what's being proposed is just fantastic. The idea of keeping what's really important in the, the law school which is this sense of history and continuity and linkage with these you know, wonderful people who went before is very important. Well all buildings are cultural artefacts so we have a duty to reveal and enhance and conserve listed structures of this sort. But at the same time, I think it's important that listed buildings have a future life, and that means introducing often change, but change which is appropriate and doesn't undermine the historic significance of a building. Fundamentally, um, we want the building to be fully accessible, and so one of the major interventions we're proposing is to introduce a new stair and lift core in the heart of the building, which for the first time will make all the levels of the building from Chamber Street to the top universally accessible. So the essence of the project really is to make the building um, physically accessible and intellectually accessible. We didn't want to have a corporate feel, which is like many other law schools. We didn't want the students to feel that they were working in a law firm when they were here, because we want them to embrace the vision that this is a great historic civic institution. So the new development is really exciting and as, as law students, we were consulted um, throughout, so especially with all the new social spaces, I'd like to think that we had a wee impact on getting those in there. It means more open space for students to work, it means more seating room. Uh, there are a lot of students here, so it's, it's great and accommodating. We're starting to see the interior uh, change, they're starting to remove everything, they're going to pretty much gut the entire wing of the student section of Old College and completely redevelop it into something modern and new. And I think that that's a great change. I think at the end of that process we will be in a much better position to be the most attractive place that we can be for everybody with whom we interact, both the public locally, our students, 
our staff at all levels, very importantly, our visitors and our research communities.